Welcome to the Saturday morning meeting, PK52. Over my right shoulder, that's some nostalgia right there. Back in the day, Toyota used to do pens. Look at these things, man. I've had these things for two decades. Pretty cool stuff. We've never done this before on a Saturday morning meeting, but we're going to kind of go back flash, back in time. This has become a thrust month for Toyota and for you as a salesperson. If you're going to make money during the year, it's during the summer months. The weather is trying to break. Summer's trying to come on. It's time for people to come out and shop for cars. Here's the biggest thing. If somebody gets confused, if somebody doesn't understand something, it is really hard for them to sign a contract for multiple thousands of dollars. Remember, a lot of people come in and buy cars, and they're buying cars over their means. You pull their credit, you know their income, you look at the car they're buying, and you're sitting there going like, wow, that payment's over $500 a month, this person's gonna struggle with the payment, but they're buying the car of their dreams. Anything, when you're showing the paperwork, anything during the deal that makes them feel uncomfortable is an easy way for the customer to go, you know what, let me think about it. And they, let me think about it is code for, I'm never coming back. Or, what happens is we start unraveling the deal and the gross goes away. You wouldn't have asked them for that price if you didn't think it's a fair price, so let's get them to sign on that price. Here's the rumor. What if you could get every customer to sign on the first pencil? Wouldn't that be the greatest dealership in the world? Customers would be happy, sales people would be happy, dealers would be happy, everybody would be happy. So the way you do that is repetition. And I'm gonna be honest about this. As we go through the way I present the numbers, it is a very generic presenting of the numbers. There's a couple of rules. If I'm giving you something, a la discount or rebate, then I'm always looking at you like I'm giving you a present. There's a thousand dollar rebate, I'd be looking in your eyes. If it's sales tax, that's a take. There's no reason to look in somebody's eyes to say, and your, your sales tax is. Your rebate, your sales tax. Very simple. It doesn't matter how the deal is desk. Everybody has their own concept of well, a way a deal should be desk. Each manager that takes over a store usually changes that first. What matters most is that you practice your delivery of the numbers. You have to be flawless. Give you a couple of examples. Football season is about to come back. Some of you guys follow college football like I do. There's a lot of youth in college football, a lot of nerves in college football. Your quarterback and center fumbled three snaps during the last game, and it cost them the game. Could you think in your mind what you're going to have them do during the next five days of practice? Yeah, you're going to have them snap the ball until the quarterback's hands bleed because you never want that to happen again. Even though these guys started playing football when they were pre-teens, they've taken thousands of snaps, but you still have to practice the basics every day. Same thing with the receiver. All cocky when they score a touchdown, drop three passes during the game, cost the team the game. I'm throwing passes, this guy's when he's coming out of the bathroom stall. He's gonna catch passes all week until it becomes routine to catch a pass. When you say a number, if the, if the number is 28,882, and you say 2882. You just said the number wrong, and the customer goes, what? Something was wrong right there. That could be enough to keep somebody from signing a contract. I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but if I'm buying something and I start feeling uncomfortable in the deal for any reason, I'm gonna back up and rethink the situation because I can always get up and go somewhere else and start over. So make sure that you clearly state the numbers and you clearly state the category and the purpose of the numbers. In the next following weeks, you'll find that I'm gonna give you a generic flow of when to look up and when to look down, using the pen as a marker, but this is where the tell is. My eyes let you know if I'm factual or if I'm not, if I'm hiding something or if I'm not. Your power as a salesperson comes from your eyes. The bigger you make it, the bigger it is. Let's see if we can get every single customer to sign on the first pencil. There'll be a manager or two out there, well, that'll never happen. Well, wait to mess it up for everybody. What if they could? What if we're offering a fair price and already researched it on the internet? We've already given them a price. They're expecting that price when they come in. We pencil the deal, the very first deal, and they sign it, and they're gone within 30 minutes. Everything is expedited. Now you go from 15 cars a month 
to 25 cars a month, to 30 cars a month, and you're building your dynasty and your client base. One last mathematical formula before I let you go. Remember, watch next week as we start this several part series on how to disclose numbers. But if a salesperson sold 20 cars a month, new or pre-owned, certified, doesn't matter. And they do that for a five year period of time. It takes a second in your head to do that math, but that's 1,200 deliveries of cars in five years. That's a lot of cars. Each one of these people, if you sell them a Toyota product, should be happy with the product and they all should come back to you. So by the beginning of year six, if you only work 20% of your client base a year, not 100%, 20% using the CRM and the dealership that you hate, that's 20 cars a month. But, but you know, oh, okay, so you saw people will move out of town and they won't be here anymore. Well, wait a minute. They're married. Especially for you guys that live up in cold states, man, they get married in a hurry because it's cold up there. So that's two people. So the 20 cars becomes 40 cars. How in the world do you deliver the wife a Highlander and she's not unbelievably ecstatic about that rig? Two and a half years from now, you ought to own the husband. He ought to be right back to you and go, hey, I need to be just as happy about my next car. So that's 40. In, there, in America, we have 2.4 kids. I don't know how you work to 4.4, but work it out yourself. Some states, there's a lot more than two kids per person. Each one of these kids, if they live in an area where they can drive, will be driving by the age of 16. If they're sitting there in your office with a 14-year-old, do the math. You can be the person that finds that child their first car. So that's two more. Wait a minute, that's 80 cars a month. You're going to need help. You're going to need the dealership to hire somebody to help you deliver cars. That's where we should all be striving. Not standing outside waiting on somebody to come in with bad credit. Man, I hate pulling somebody's bureau. I feel bad for them. You know, I saw you got a 421 Beacon score. Oh, what does that mean? That's, well, it means you can't buy a car. You get option C. See you later. 421 was actually you and your wife added together. You know, I, who knows what caused their credit to be bad, but they can't buy a car, no bank will finance them. But your customers and your client base have already bought a car. If they've leased a car, they're Encore with TFS. This is where your gold mine is. But the way to get to a repeat sale is to make sure they buy the car from you the first time. The more credible you are, the more first pencil signs you're going to have. Let's expedite the process and develop a system that we can practice every single day day. There shouldn't be a day that you go in the dealership that you don't sit down and work several minutes on turning the page upside down and disclosing the numbers as your desk gives them to you perfectly. This number's this, this number's this, this number represents this, this number's this. Walk up to another salesperson in your dealership that hasn't watched this video and say, hey, do me a favor. Throw a deal sheet in front of them and say, deliver that to me and watch how bad they stumble over numbers that we use every day. Final thought, they wanted the car or they wouldn't have shown up. The only way you can make them happy is to sell them a car. Sell them all. PK52, the Saturday morning meeting. See you next week.